Hello everybody, I am the Great Papyrus, and welcome back to Doom Eternal. Now, when we last left off, I activated some kind of strange machine, a whole lot of weirdness happened, and the next thing I know, my mind was transferred into the body of a revenant. So, now I'm trapped in this disgusting, undead horror. But that doesn't mean that we can't be friends, right? I mean, it's what's on the inside that counts, and I believe that everyone can do a little bit better if they just try. <laughs> I think that you could try too, and that deep down we could all be friends. And, and speaking of friends, I am currently on a mission to retrieve the Slayer's super shotgun for him. So. I will not let the Slayer down in any way, shape, or form. And who knows? Maybe he, he and I will become best buddies after this. <laughs> right. Okay, so... Playing as a Revenant. Hold mouse 2 to use your jetpack to fly high up. Press L, left shift to activate your afterburner to quickly dodge. <laughs> if you run out of fuel, these abilities will be unavailable until it recharges. Press F to launch a... Wait, press mouse 1 to fire twin rockets. Press F to launch a rocket barrage, which is stronger attack that requires a brief wind-up before firing. So, press F to pay respects. <laughs> right. Now, if I am just careful enough, I think that I can easily sneak into this area and retrieve the shotgun without alerting the, the, to these guys that I am not one of their own. And okay, caution for the wind then. I guess this game doesn't know much about in terms of stealth. Oh, can I do a glory kill? Oh, nope, seems like. I can fly! I can fly! The great papyrus can fly! Oh, I just feel like singing. No, please, Papyrus, don't sing. No, oh, Sans, I can't fight it. I must sing! <laughs> when I wake up here in Snowden and I step outside, where I find that Sans keeps wasting time, and I, 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 I scream from the top of my ribs, what's going on? And I sing. <laughs> What's boating on? Oh, hello there, friend. You remind me of my brother, Sans. I'm a skeleton just like you. And I'm sure that we could be the best of friends if we just try. Get along with each other. Although, if I'm being frank, you, sir, with your prodigious girth, actually remind me of Sans a whole lot more. Oh, I am absolutely devastating. With this, I'll become a member of the Royal Guard in, in no time. In fact, I'll become the leader of the Ro Royal Guard. Sorry, Undyne, I am gunning for your job. You know, I have to say that Slayer actually reminds me of Undyne. She has that same sort of commanding presence that he does. I think that they'd be the best of friends as well. I mean, apart from the whole human thing. As long as he understands that... We, as denizens of the underground, are not necessarily affiliated with these guys from the underworld. And I now have access to the shotgun. <laughs> the Slayer is going to be so proud of me and so impressed with me, I'm certain that he'll send my recommendation to King Asgore himself, and I will be promoted to the head member of the Royal Guard, and then... <laughs> he and I will become the best of buddies. I'll have him over at my house, and I will cook spaghetti for him. Or better yet, I'll just invite him over to Undyne's house, and we'll learn how to cook spaghetti together. Me and the Slayer, we will be the bestest of spaghetti bros. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, come to Pappy. <laughs> Alright, now let's get this shotgun back to where it belongs. Here we go. Strap, uh, strap me in. Doom Slayer, Mighty Warrior, I, the Great Papyrus, humbly present unto thee your Super Shotgun. 
Feel free to use it however you wish. Here you go. This means we're friends now, right? Yeah, it totally means we're friends. Thanks. I don't know why. That just doing that just gave me a sudden chill. I, don't, I feel like I'm gonna have a bad time. Alright, you undead screwheads, listen up. This! The Super Shotgun is a devastating close-range weapon that features a meat hook mod. When in range, press mouse 2 to pull yourself to the demon. Is my meat hook! Alright, there's clearly a more effective strategy to me opening these things. Because there are two cue balls in here. So... Alright, so they're obviously not in those ones. So, it must be... Yep, there's one. Oh! My situation is getting worse and worse. Revenant, you get away from my cue ball. Have this. Well, I honestly think that those are the biggest of them, so... Maybe the guy that I'm looking for was in here? Yep. Yes, he was. I guess I'll save those. Just remind me to kill him before I leave, because that's honestly what screwed me over the last time. And I now have something big enough to work to use him for. Corner pocket. Ah, dang it. Friggin' Hell Knight got in the way. Do over. I want a do over. There was interference on the on the board, on the table. Man, he went belly up. Boom. That's what you get for moving with your mouth open. Why do you do that awkward open mouth smile? You know that that makes people uncomfortable, right? That was so great. I basically just went from one glory kill to the next. Doom, level 15. <laughs> now, I'm going to do my best to get the secrets this time. I'm not going to miss. Yes! Cheat code, IDDQD! <laughs> IDDQD, that's invincibility. Derreglessness mode is what they called it. Now. Aw, oh, dang it. Looks like I'm gonna have to chainsaw a few. A Attention, four. all cultist base personnel. Please destroy the Slayer. The priest must survive. I repeat, the priest must survive. I think you're confusing must with should. There's no indication that he needs to survive, as there is no evidence to suggest that he will. Right. Now how many does that make? 8 out of 15. Oh goody, more. And that one just got chopped.
soldier. Hey guys, I'm just talking about you. God, I love the armor in these games. They basically protect you from getting hurt like armor is supposed to. Brainiac? Is that you? Huh. So, this is where you came after Krypton. Maybe Krypton wasn't destroyed. Maybe Krypton was absorbed into hell. Hmm. It's a shame. Does that mean that there are hell demons with Kryptonian superpowers? Because don't get me wrong, I could use a challenge. You know, that's actually funny because I saw somebody post in a comment section on a video in regards to Doom Eternal. Basically, they like said, imagine Doom Slayer fighting Doom's Day from Sup the Superman comics. And then I basically replied with like a scenario where Doom Slayer is talking to, <laughs> talking to Doom's Day. I heard you killed Superman. I liked him. <laughs> and it's on from then. <laughs> from there. Basically, certain more comic-savvy people say that Batman is a one person who could prepare for Gala- who could defeat Galactus if he had a week to prepare for it. I'm certain that the Doom Slayer could beat Galactus in, a d in just an hour. <laughs> Let's see. I got the cue ball. Wait, what am I even doing here? Playing as Revenant, Meat Hook. The Super Shotgun. I don't think I ever read this. Okay, maybe it is. A weapon from the Slayer's past. This double-barreled shotgun displays ornate, undeciphered filigree carvings. It also indicates a modif- includes a modification. A twin-pronged hook anchored with a retractable chain designed for under-barrel usage. Though the firearm appears to be of earthly design, the meat hook attachment is comprised of non-terra metals, suggesting some level of prior history off-world. Its place in the Slayer's arsenal in Hell has already been recorded, as noted in the following translation from the Ungmar Codex. The sting of the Slayer's abominable arsenal cast fear into the lowest of our kin. Its blazing barrels of brimstone spew his vitriol and loathing upon us and cast our brethren to the dirt. Frankly, we are grateful he uses that and not other implements. Mark the venom of his chosen apparatus of agony as the diabolical musket Lucifer's bane, its claw of pig iron gouging the flesh of the martyr and hurrying him upon us. Curse the name of his beloved treasure. Curse the Hellwalker's device of torment. We shall cast it unto the smelter and gild his entrails with its slurry. You'll die trying. All right, two more and I can upgrade the, the rocket launcher, but dang it, now I want to upgrade the super shotgun. Okay, a few things that I want to say about the super shotgun before we continue is that... Uh, wait, is there something else that I haven't read? The cue ball. All right, I guess. Shoot this demon in the direction you want it to fly. Former UAC engineers, these malformed zombies were rendered inept during the war for Earth. Their bodies are now a disturbing fusion of body, bone, and barrel. Transformed this way by means of an Argent energy wave. 
a Lazarus wave. <laughs> Basically, they're like the possessed engineers from the last game, except they're so far gone they can't even move anymore. Okay, a few things about the Super Shotgun. I'm disappointed to learn that basically we learn almost next to nothing about it before getting it. I wanted there to be build-up to it. I wanted it to be a major storytelling element, you know? Because I remember seeing cutscenes from the original... From the trailers, the launch trailers, basically that depict the super shotgun being on an altar and basically being, like, praised by undead zombies or whatnot. It basically showed that, like, these things, that the Slayer's arsenal is being given a point of reverence or maybe even fear. Maybe they were worshipping it to try and figure out how to harness its power, or maybe that they basically feared it because, like they tried to say, they wanted to smelt it, but they couldn't find a way to destroy it. Maybe his weapons are too strong for them to undo. So the fact that we get it in the most unorthodox way, having a revenant hand deliver it to us, that's odd. It's disappointing. But also the fact that it comes with a meat hook now, like... You guys remember that guy that has the theory about Doom Slayer and Link possibly being the same guy? Well, this thing basically has the hook shot built into it. And I remember, like, in my last, in my first playthrough of this level, I made a joke about how, basically, like, saying that, like, uh, yeah, I remember back in the days of Hyrule, back when... You used to be the hook shot, and I ended up attaching you to the shotgun, and oh wow, being in that revenant body must have really messed my mind up. <laughs> spider guy, spider guy, he slays demons and doesn't say why. He doesn't ask why, dang it, how could I mess that up twice? Dang it. Time for a secret encounter. Let's just get these in a better position, shall we? Certainly don't want one of them to pop. At least I didn't go off the edge this time. How is he ain't dead yet? How did he survive all of that?
He's still alive? Not supposed to be two. Seriously, where does that second one come from? Finally. Yeah. Hidden for a penny. Gotta save it for the end. Oh goody, this is one of my favorite parts. Is that Bill Cipher? <laughs> Dang it, and I didn't get one from them. Alright, Japan, come on out. There we go. Oh, there's a soul cube up there. That'll be useful if I get into a jam. And it's looking downward. That's creepy. Now it's constantly staring at you. I guess it's a good thing that I had to redo these episodes. was never quite satisfied with how they came out. Secret found into Sandy's city. I think that Sandy in this context is meant to be short for Satan.
How many rockets do I got? Six. A Revenant and a Mancubus. Well, that was easy. I'm gonna miss basically the the joke that I made in the first time I did this because it was really good. And here comes the Kako. Right. And I gotta admit, this was actually a clever puzzle. What? Seriously. Because you're so focused on fighting the opponents, you don't even realize that this basic... You've already been given the solution to this puzzle. Dang it, I should have used this on those guys. Amplifier. Oh goody, another hallway like before. Are you growing tired, Slayer? Not really, we more or less kind of more. This is going to be great. Oh, there it is. Let's just hope he doesn't go on the ceiling this time. Alright, come on, big fella. Come on, bit closer, bit closer, bit closer. So nice! <laughs> oh, I feel real good about life right now. Huh, what is this? Whoa. That's a big boy. What is this thing? Well, congratulations, you're now radioactive. Seriously, is this like an arc reactor or something? I could punch that. Oh, I get it, so... I unlock this, it springs me up, and I punch that. So... Just need to basically activate that and... Up, uh, here's the Slayer Gate. This one was actually quite fun. <laughs> and I'm gonna get the Slayer Key, but much like last time, we're gonna save it for the end. But, let's get that key. Huh, huh, whoop. Oh, come on. I wanted to get through without losing any of my armor. <sighs> oh, ew, ew, the wall is wet. Why is it wet? <laughs> Got the key. 
And now, basically it's time to move on. Did I leave any ammo over here? Any plasma ammo? I better start using the shotgun. Now, let's do the main puzzle. Oh yeah! Ah, chains and weight. Boink! <laughs> Seriously, I cannot be the only one getting a God of War vibe from this. And I'm not talking about the 2018 game, I'm talking about what God of War, War used to be. Right, let's go. Buffering? You basically crucified a four-armed titan. Now, now that I look at it, this thing kind of looks like a, a wraith, except uh, with one of those in its head. Now, let's keep moving forward, because we're almost to the end. I do not fear you. This match is not won yet. Come find me, Slayer. I will be waiting. If you insist. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, goody. They're loading me up. Well, in a manner of speaking. They're giving me a bump, that's what they're doing. I have a feeling that all five of the- wait, those aren't- never mind. Those are- to those are suit tokens. Dang it. <laughs> now, I got four. One more, and I'll get that. And, I also have this. It's probably why I was having such difficulty before. Ah, dang it. I was hoping that I basically would be able to unlock the mastery exam for this before basically doing the Slayer Gate, because the Slayer Gate can actually help me with this. Come on, lure them in. Lure them in close. Sir, in regards to the undead community, I'm looking for someone a bit more impressive. But if you could just, like, come closer and basically get chainsawed, that'd be great. There you are. Now where's the other one? I have no idea how this is so successfully blocking this, but I will take it. Come on, bit closer. 
Come on, dummy. I guess it's time to scream. Oh, I guess not. A knight. Oh, no, that's not a knight. Ah. I know that I'm playing this pretty slow, but honestly, this fight really isn't worth it. But now I am out of a armor, and I am basically in not a good position. So. Let's play. Maximum Overdrive! Did I lose it already? Oops. Go for a spin. Yay, and they still hit them. Hit him. In signal now. Well, I unlocked fast travel, so now it's time to go back and do whatever it was I was supposed to do before. <laughs> but first, I'm going to basically scour every single bit of ammunition that I can from this area. Now, let's go back. Oh, sinners, let's go down, let's go down, down to the valley. Oh, sinners, let's go down, down to the valley to pray. I think it'll be easier to go back from this way. Ooh. Okay, one extra life. Don't do that, keyboard. Don't do this to me now. You've been a good keyboard throughout this entire playthrough. Throughout these last few episodes, I mean.
It'd be cool if they hid something down there. Climb. That's two. Is that another derp fish? <laughs> I didn't even notice it in the ice. I mean, the first time through, I barely noticed it this time because I just crashed into it. I keep calling it derp fish. It's dope fish. Yeah, that's an error. That's basically the the life that was in the first derp, dope fish. So can't get it a second time. Believe me, I've tried. Wait, why'd this door lock again? Did they... Did they actually send someone by to fix it? Wait, can... Can I not go back out there? Game... Don't do this. You're being an asshole, game. Because I honestly, I don't think that I'll be able to go back through this way, because, like, friggin'... <sighs> well, that's one extra life that I won't be taking with me. So it looks like I'm going in with nine extra lives. I'm just wondering, were they expecting people to try and parkour through this? I honestly can't figure it out. Right. There's only one thing left to do. Any ammo? I am not doing good on rockets, which is not a good thing. Especially not for this particular... <sighs> Slayer Gate. Of course, it's not really good for any Slayer Gate. Alright. Here we go. I've done... More with with less. And after this, I'll finally be able to go back to my main playthrough. <laughs> hey, he burst through the wall like the Kool-Aid guy. Just keep moving. Provides me a rare opportunity.
Here come the prowlers. Yes! And I even took out a Prowler with that one. I was actually going for the Ice Bomb. So, Kako's right. Alright, let's play Doctor. Open up and say, ah. More like say, ah! Right, here come the Trons. And I need something chainsawable. You'll do. Keep dodging. Just keep going around and around in a circle until the chainsaw recharges again. And now you can go get that other chainsaw just so you have like an extra backup. Now. Alright, you big brain bastards. And now, it should be easy. I need a volunteer. Prowler. Purple guy! And that's done. And while I'm still here, the Prowler. Freeze it with an ice bomb. A creature of darkness, the Prowler hunts from the shadows, preferring stealth and concealment to open conflict. Imbued with perennial infra infravision, the Prowler is able to see that which is unseen to the naked eye. Known among the Sentinels as the Night Stalker, like Kolshak, the Prowler is a per preternatural se has a pr the pr the Prowler's preternatural sense of sight makes it a lethal hunter, capable of tracking its prey even in the pitchest dark black of dark. Believed to be peripherally descendant to the lesser imp brooding, the Prowler is rarely seen in groups, forsaking pack hunting for the precision of the solitary pursuit. And it teleports around, so it's officially the Wraith from Doom 3, except now they had to give it a new name because the elemental rates are a thing. But I did it. That's the Slayer Gate completed. 
two down. One to go. Wait, two down and... I can't do math, apparently. Two down and four to go, dummy. Right. Now that I basically got that... That is the first life, right? Yeah, that's the first life. Cannot believe that I wasn't able to get that life, because then I'd be able to go through it with ten, but... Basically, that is levels... That is episodes two through four, finally completed. The Promenade of Culling. That's... wait. This isn't nearly close enough, sorry. Promenade of Culling. And now, here we are at the very end. Pretty sure that there's no ammo to be found, and hey, I skipped over the elevator. Good for me. We're on a train. And that's it. Either the Hell Priest is clearly overconfident, or he's basically laying a trap. And we and I basically did say that we were coming up on our first boss fight, but I got combat, challenges, and exploration all completed. Just love watching this meter go up. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And the challenges. Excellent. I think that makes a total of four that I got for this mission. Or maybe just three. And I got everything else. Hmm. What exactly do these do, anyway? Eh, I don't know. Maybe they're just visual aesthetics and whatnot. Although, these look like toys. Look like the Marauder and the Doom Slayer. Except his head's on fire. Maybe he's the, uh... Ghost Rider Slayer. <laughs> Anyways, I'm pretty sure that that's all I need to really say about that, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment on the comment section below, show sure, like and share with your friends, and if you want to keep up to date with more Doom Eternal coming at you in the future, then be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. As always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Later!